you know, I think we're looking at this as a big game for us to um, kind of start turning things a little bit, and there's no better opponent that we'd rather play. Do you feel like it's heightened because of the team form, or do you feel like just any match against Portland is going to have that kind of intensity? Yeah, any match is going to have that, that type of intensity, but I think for us internally it's, an, it's important because of how the year's gone so far. Obviously it's not gone as, as we've um, liked or hoped, but, you know, there's when, when times aren't tough you want to play your biggest rival game you want to get up for and, you know, hopefully you can turn things around there. Do you, do you feel like the mentality has been still pretty positive with the squad, even with the hole that you guys are in? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, if eventually we can't keep saying that. we got to start turning these games into three points. And, um, you know, I think that the positivity is still there because we know we have a good squad. Um, we know we got good players. So. I mean, the theme's been unfortunate injuries, but we've been getting guys back now. And I know I think it's time It's time to uh, stop talking and kind of make the results show. And, you know, like, like I said, no better opponent than on, than on Saturday. Do you think it helps having uh, veteran guys who have been around for a while and also some guys who were here in 16 when it was kind of a similar situation? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's always good when, you know, you got guys who have been through it. Um, they kind of they kind of help steady the ship and keep the positive mentality because, you know, there's a lot of teams that if things aren't going well right now and they don't have guys that have been through it, that they would kind of all just put their heads down and kind of just crumble. I think um, it speaks to the mentality of this team that, you know, unfortunately we've had to do it before and um, looks like we're going to have to do it again. But, you know, it's 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 not uh, it's not panic time, but, you know, it's time to like, all right, let's start grinding down and kind of cleaning up some little details and, you know, and start getting three points. How's your uh, injury doing? Are you making good progress? Yeah, I'm feeling much better. Um, last last week, our uh, last Chicago game is probably the best I've felt in, in a while, so I'm happy about that. And, um, you know, just want to keep it feeling good, don't want any, any setbacks, and, um, you know, be, be ready to go. Four, oh, sorry, four, four assists for a standalone striker. You know, it's not always what you expect when you play that position, but I feel like you've got good, you know, uh, good looks, you know, distributing the ball this year. How do you feel like your passes have been, especially in the final third? Yeah, you know, um, Anytime I'm involved in, in goals or creating chances, you know, I'm happy. Obviously, I want to be scoring them because I'm a center forward, and that's just every forward's mentality. But, um, you know, if I can set people up to, you know, I'm going to do it because, um, you know, anything to help us get goals is, is good. You seem to be a very good passer. Is that just something that's been undervalued in the past or is something you've been working on lately? Or? No, I think it's been undervalued, if, if you ask me. Um, you know, I like to consider myself a decent passer sometimes. Um, but, you know, I, I – I think defenders don't really expect it from me because, you know, the big lumbering center forward, oh, wow, he can kind of pass the ball sometimes. So, um, you know, I got a little more than just the layoff game. And, you know, I've been doing a little more flicks and stuff. But, you know, that's just that's my own mentality. <laughs> this type of derby tend to get physical. How do you think Seattle can respond to that physical play? Yeah, I think this is going to be a perfect game for us to stand up and say, look, you know what? We're not playing the way we want to play. Results aren't going, but we're going to fight. And I think, um, you know, we got guys around the field that are – we know it's time to time to step up, and I think that first tackle, that first pass, the first duel um, is going to kind of set the tone for the game. Uh, from your position, what do you expect out of Portland defensively? Yeah, I feel like I'm going to get banged around. Last game I got banged around a lot. Um, you know, Portland, I'm sure they're going to come out and try to do the same thing, but, you know, it's nothing nothing new that I'm, I'm not used to. You been able to watch the uh, World Cup at all this morning? Just yeah, see, see your boy, see that, your boy uh, Gustav? And, it was 3-0. Yeah. Gus came on, and you know I had Germany winning it, and now my bracket's busted. <laughs> You're totally okay with that, knowing the chaos is all that you yeah, want. So. It was it was good drama, especially since the U.S. wasn't in it. Will, when you've been playing as well as you have, and there are reported rumors of a forward coming in, how do you handle that? In yeah, no, I. I I don't think I don't think about it. you know for me I know it's we need to score goals we haven't been scoring as many goals as we want and that's just the way it is so you know every team is gonna every team in the league if they're not scoring goals they're gonna try to bring in guys that can score goals and help create more competition and more competitiveness at training which in turn will hopefully result in more goals so you know I'm I'm all welcome for for the competition and you know hopefully it can be a good uh, addition coming forward if it if it happens.